Hey everybody, it's Dr. Levi, the gamer's doctor, the esports doctor, talking to you today about something very, very serious and very dear to me because of how it's impacted me personally and how it's impacted the lives of my patients as well as my family. We're going to be talking about stress and anxiety. Why? Because it impacts everybody's life. You know, it's estimated that over 40 million Americans have some type of anxiety-inducing type disorder. So, we're going to talk about anxiety, we're going to talk about stress, and more importantly, today I want to give you coping tools and techniques to help you push through so that you always remember that there is always hope. So, when you're in that, that dark place, when you're feeling stressed out, when you're feeling anxious, when you're feeling that no one is there to listen to you, that no one's available for you, when you feel alone and by yourself, I want you to know there's always hope. There are always people here that will love and appreciate you, who want to take care of you, who want you to be here. Because we want you to be the best possible version of yourself. Because the world needs you. Why? Because there's only one of you in the whole universe. So let's talk about stress and anxiety. And then let's talk about what you can do personally to help yourself minimize stress in your life and hopefully minimize the stress and anxiety in someone else's life. So, well, what is anxiety? Anxiety is fear or worry that's just very intense. And what is stress? Stress is a specified or possibly an unspecified demand or burden on your body or your brain. So when it comes to stress, stress is a part of everyday living. Why? Because we all are thinking about our family. We're thinking about our friends. We're thinking about finance. We're thinking about our jobs. We're thinking about relationships. We're thinking about the neighbors. We're thinking about life. And life is stressful. It is. But the goal here is to remind you that no matter how stressful it may be, that you have to take yourself out of the situation sometime, pull back and look at it and think that, okay, yeah, these things are stressful. I'll deal with it. You can only do what you can do. When you're giving it your, your best shot, you can't do any more. And when your best shot is not enough, well, what can you do? Keep on moving. More importantly, keep on living. And that's why we're doing this video today. My team and I wanted to do this because we want you to always have hope. You know, in the light of so many people recently committing suicides, especially a lot of teens and even younger who are cyber bullied, who don't feel good about themselves, that are depressed, that are stressed out because of school or their parents or friends or their relationships. I, I want everyone to know, and I hope you can share this video with as many people as possible. I want this to be a video of hope. I want you to know the world needs you. The world appreciates you. There's only one of you in the whole universe and you matter. We want you to be the best possible version of yourself without validation from anybody else. You know, I, I've lost several friends whom I loved dearly, and I feel often that maybe I didn't do enough. I've had patients that I've lost due to suicide, and again, I'm always in that place of thinking, I didn't do enough. So this video, I'm hoping to do my part to remind people to respect your life, don't stress, don't be over anxious, and to know that if you have hope and if you're here with us, tomorrow will always be better if you have hope. So let's talk about what are some of the stresses. Again, it can be relationships. It can be family, friends, neighbors, the job, money, finances. All of these things can cause this, this incredible feeling of what's going to happen, what's going to happen, what's going to happen, I'm not going to get through it. Well, you will. You will. You will get through it. You'll get through it and you do it successfully and you do it victoriously. There's nothing that you can't handle. Just take a step back, take a breath, have a game plan, and then get to it. Now, if someone has a tremendous amount of stress and anxiety, often they can have the following issues. Gastric upset, not sleeping well, feeling very listless, not eating or possibly overeating, uh, not feeling good, 
having a feeling of impending doom, that something is going to happen, something bad is going to happen, not feeling good about themselves. And there are the other things that can actually induce stress, like different types of foods, for example, a lot of sugar, caffeine, alcohol, all of these things can induce stress and anxiety. Some medications, for example, steroids, thyroid medication, all of these things can cause your body to have this heightened sense of stress and anxiety. Now, the thoughts are the following. What do you do to minimize stress? So I want to give you a long, long laundry list of things I'd like you to consider doing if you feel like you're in this cocoon of stress where there's no way out, you feel like you're in a box, you're in a very dark abyss, a black hole where you just can't climb out. I want you to know there's always hope. There's always a way that you can bring yourself out. If you can't do it, guess what? Your family and your friends and the people that love you, we can do it. Why? Because we want you here. We want you to be around. Again, to be the best possible version of yourself. We want you here. So, I want to give you some things that you can do to minimize stress and anxiety in your life. So, you can think about the following. Exercise. Eating properly. Minimize being in the environments that stress you out. So if you're at a job that you don't really like and it stresses you out, the people don't like you, you don't really like them, it's far from work, you're not getting benefits, you're not happy, then leave. There are other things for you to do. There are other gifts for you to share of yourself with the world. But don't stay locked into a prison of anger, of guilt, and shame. So let's go back again. Eating properly, exercising daily, being mindful. What is mindful? Well, taking time to meditate, taking time to exercise, maybe doing a Tai Chi class, a Qigong class, meditating, or if you want to pray, prayer, whatever works for you to give you quiet time. That's important. What about smiling more, laughing more, watching a funny movie? You know, things like that will really help you to go to that place of feeling better about yourself. Now I want to tell you the most important thing that I recommend if you feel extreme stress and anxiety, and that would be to talk to someone. And also to not have any shame about anything. There's no shame here. When you pour out to someone that you need help, that you're thinking about suicide, thinking about hurting yourself or someone else, there's no shame in that. If anything, you're very brave. You're very courageous to say, you know what? I need help. Let me knock on a door. Let me make a phone call. Let me send a text. Let me send an email to someone to let them know I'm in a bad place. I need help. So I want you to really think about those things. Why? Because I want you here. When it comes to stress and anxiety, there are many things that we can do to help someone who has that. There's cognitive behavioral therapy. There's one-on-one -on -one talk therapy. There are medications. Again, there's meditation, which I, which I really love. So don't feel alone. That's the major thing I want to tell you. So exercise daily. Be mindful of your diet. Don't smoke. Minimize alcohol in your diet. Of course, be mindful of everything that you're eating, that you're drinking. You know, try not to smoke. And if you're in a very stressful environment, try your best to minimize that. So, again, you're not alone. The world needs you. Stress and anxiety cannot win, and I believe that you can do it. All right? Well, this is Dr. Levi Harrison, the gamer's doctor, the esports doctor, giving you my commentary and my thoughts about stress and anxiety, how to combat it, and how to remind you that the world needs you to be the best possible version of yourself. And number one, reach out and call someone. There's a National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Give them a call. You'll see the line. you see their number right here. Give them a call. I'm in your corner. I'm sure you're going to be fine. If you're here with us, there's hope and there's help. This is Dr. Levi. I'll see you soon. And thank you so much for subscribing to all our social media platforms. Bye.